And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. You know, neurosurgeons at St. Vincent's can now perform minimally invasive spine surgery using state-of-the-art technology. We've got Dr. Charles Clark here to tell us all about it. So good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. I'm glad you're here, and I understand that neurosurgeons at St. Vincent's were the first to perform this in the state. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, we are the first hospital in the state to have this technology. And we just um, we acquired this in January. In January, and of how many this year. patients have you worked on? We have, so far have done about 65. Nice. And so you're getting good results. We are. Tell me a little bit about how it works. Well, the primary um, use for this is to implant. Um, what we call pedicle screws in doing a fusion. Okay. And there are certain a number of people who uh, have lumbar fusions okay. and uh, for back pain, leg pain, and that sort of thing. But we're able to uh, to do this uh, with is a minimally invasive technique where we can put these screws in percutaneously. Mm -hmm. And the way this is done is that we uh, have a preoperative plan mm -hmm. that we uh, it's a three-dimensional planning that's done on a computer mm -hmm. and we can uh, uh, construct a model okay. of, of how we want it to look and nice. go to the operating room and download this plan into our computer system in the operating room yes and uh, and, and go to work and we can make it look just like our plan so I'm reading that some of the upside uh, faster recovery time uh, minimal scars and fewer potential complications. That's correct. That's nice. So as far as the people that are having this done, what's the general age range? Oh, it, it, uh, all, ages. all ages. All ages. That's correct. Okay. And so this is fascinating, isn't it? I mean, it, you've been in medicine for over 30 years to see how technology is evolving and helping you in, in your job. I think this is a game changer yes. in terms of this procedure. Now, how do people get more information, or how do they learn more about this? Um, well, the St. Vincent's website has, okay. um, has information about this. Uh, our group, Neurosurgical Associates at St. Vincent's, we have a website uh, with information about this also. And you guys are only, not only were you the first, but you're the only ones that are currently offering this, right? That's correct. We're the only ones in the state that have this technology at this point. That's fantastic. And so you've had great response from it. We have. Recovery time's quicker. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, complications are less. Mm -hmm. And But the big thing that really drove me to this is the exposure to radiation mm. in the operating room is m just a fraction of what it used to be for the, our team and for the patient. Oh, that's good to know as well. So the website is, again, we can post that up one last time if you want to learn more about that. And uh, St. Vincent's is the place, again, they are the first in the state to have it, and they are currently the only one that, uh, they're the only ones offering this. So if it's something that, um, you know, y you may want to just research it and check it out because it's not going to hurt to learn more about it. Thank That's you it. so much for being here. Thanks for having Anything me. Anything else that you want to say that I didn't ask you? I think, I think that uh, you've covered it. Okay. Well, good. Then we did our job today. Now you can go on to do more important things like save lives. Oh, thank you. <laughs>